about uh, talking very little. I want to thank God for bringing me here today. Initially, I had no plans of coming here. These young people, I don't know them even, they wrote a letter to me and uh, they wanted me to come here. I just threw it aside. Because there are so many letters from me that kind of in my office. Every morning, the white people here, here. When I see them, I put them aside. Because my business is very clear. It's about the security of this country. So when you call me for symposium, for what? Then you are calling the wrong person. So I really want to hear about people. But they but I think and I knew my father in heaven wanted me to be here. They use my uncle, use my uncle, the analysis. And my name says, it's called Peter. I'm also Peter. So you go to me better when I say, oh, General, how are you, my nephew? You said, I'm okay. Then he protest the, the, the program. Now, when an uncle calls you, in our culture, you have no business to refuse. Because there is one thing when, first of all, it's your elder. Secondly, when you go to your uncle, when you are living, he will always give you something. <laughs> you cannot leave your uncle's place bare happy. Either we give you a chicken, a goat, or a cow. Say, so my nephew, go and start from here. So when did he go to me, I said, no, I know there is something you want to get from there. So I have to go. Because uh, that is what it means. Uh, today I'm here. I give glory. I'm here. I know when, when, when I come to a place, when finally I've been commanded to come to a place like this, talk to people. I don't talk about the things of this world. The people who talk about the things of this world are the occurrence of this world. Wonderful. The Honorable Minister of Tesla Affairs, you see, you will talk about the things of this world. Me, I talk things of after this world. I talk of things of eternity. That's what I talk. Because this world is so confusing. It is so confusing. It's so jumbled up and it is not easy to understand. So, they are told me to talk about patriotic patriot leadership as a habit. Patriotic leadership. Patriotism is, is about loving. Anybody who is not patriotic is a sinner. <laughs> if you are not patriotic, then you are a sinner. So for me to come to talk about the patriotism to you, which means you are sinners. <laughs> and therefore, it is my duty to help you get out of sin. You talked about youth, and youth were 70%. Youth 
We are selling the passage. We are very big. Now we, we can pay charges. In English, yes, sir. I'm also a youth. Don't I look like one? Don't I look like a youth? I am a youth. But I'm a youth of 57 years. 57 years. But none of you can beat me. If it comes to running, what? I don't think anyone of you can beat me. Even in the bed, nobody can beat me. <laughs> nobody. <laughs> so I'm still the bed. You bad. You see.
The human problem to us, which we have to prepare, is his coming. You can read about the history of this world, but not the history of this kingdom. For this kingdom is coming, and is coming. And all the world will see happening the youth will be arrested, abusing. It was written, and the spirit will be. That people are talking about Patriots. Why would you teach about Patriots? You, you, are, you must be born by thinking. You can never be told to be by thinking. You have to be born by thinking. Now, in the Bible, in the second second Timothy 3, I'm going to read from 1 to 4. Understanding the times we are in. And you must understand. So that when you go doing your things, you must know that this is what we are living in. It says, You must understand this. In the last days, there will be violent peoples. There will be violent peoples. Look at violence throughout the world. Why are people dying? People will be selfish. Look at the selfishness in this world, in this country. One man owns 10 square kilometers of land. But when he's with that, he will be buried in him. How many inches? People will be selfish and love money. People will love money. Look at the love of money. People will sacrifice children in order to get money. They will be they will be Be arrogant and use a piece of advantage. Use a piece of arrogant. Use a piece of Look at the social media. You are all in it. Look at the language in the social media. They will cast their parents. That's why they can say, You parents. You are good, your time is over. Go away. Children cursing their parents. Why the time is what I mean? Show no gratitude, have no respect for what is holy, and lack affection. For their families, they will refuse to make peace with anyone. They will be slanderers, lack self control, be good, brutal, and no love for what is good. They will love pleasure. Thank God. The way they use love pleasure, pleasure. tomorrow there is football, you can football. All of you will be there. Oh, eh? Betty. You will pay money to go and watch some white man play. You are not even seeing, you are just seeing some pictures. But you pay money. You cannot get that one thousand and buy five seedlings of eucalyptus so that it becomes a problem. So, the days we are in, 
aside from concern, we are in the last stage. I am not shocked when I see what is happening around us, within our families. Children killing parents, parents fighting. I am not shocked. For sure, we are in the last days. Today, those days being an elder was blessed. When you become, you want to be blessed. Today, being an elder is a task. Being an elder today is a task. Because you are abused by your own children. Nobody takes care of you, the elder. Elders go through hell when they are still alive. Nobody cares for them. And we talk about what you see. When we cannot respect our elders, what are you talking about? For it is one of the commandments. And with the prophets, he said, You young people, respect, respect your parents. For it is the first commandment with the prophets. And the promise is, You will be blessed. And you live like a long life. That is the promise when you respect elders. To be part of it is a lot. To be good, that's all. But the people who preach that even when you do wrong, you can go. And be forgiven, repentant, that you can go. So, you go and sleep with somebody's wife, knowing that no problem, let me sleep with her. Tomorrow, I'll go home and God will forgive me. I will repent. There is this man called the Paul. Which looks like yours. There's a phone with you. It says like this, those who live in Christ don't go on sinning. Those who go on sinning have a sin on on Christ. Anybody who 
the sea. And you claim to be a Christian, you are not. You don't know him, you have never seen him. Anybody and patriotic and claims to be a Christian, you are neither one. You belong to the evil one. Oh, 
musician also wants to become what? A musician also wants to become what? A politician. Because he wants to be. God says, you, you also eat here. Even when you are sick and happy, you can just say, bam, 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 You say, I think now I can go there. Then you go there and you get the problems. Be happy where you have been put. I thank you all. God bless you. Give you the animals. I am so grateful. Come to today. I thank you all about the God bless you all. Amen.